Hello and welcome to the first episode of the British Candy Authority. I've been living in Los Angeles now for nearly six years and one of the most disappointing aspects about living in LA, uh, aside from the traffic and the fact I can't find a job, is the chocolate. Your selection of candy, your sweets, your chocolates, they're all, um, putting it mildly, a bit shit. Now I've talked to friends here about that and I mentioned to them you know, the, the chocolate here is just not great. And I get varying responses ranging from, well, you know, to each their own. If we all like the same stuff, then, uh, you know, the world will be a boring place, I guess. <laughs> to, hey man, f you, American chocolate's the best in the world. You don't like it, you can leave. F you, America, yeah! But I have a couple of friends who often say to me, why, how do you know it's shit if you haven't tried? Everything! So, I figure, put my money where my mouth is. In a very literal, well I say very literal, I mean figurative, with a, a sous-son of uh, literalness. Earlier this week I put out a call to find out what my first candy bar should be, and Mini Flames and my freak side both suggested I start with a perennial American classic, the bog standard Hershey milk chocolate bar. I mean it makes sense, right? If I'm gonna be reviewing American chocolate, I may as well start with something that is about as American as you can get for a chocolate bar. We've seen dogs pull this out of Homer Simpson's pocket while his house is on fire in an episode of The Simpsons. Not really relevant, but a little bit of... Yeah. So let's start with the wrapper, shall we? Um, let's analyse for a moment. Um, there's no ambiguity about who made this particular brand of chocolate. They've basically had the same design for a hundred thousand years, I'm guessing. Um, my understanding is that they recently switched from foil packed to wrapped in like every other fucking chocolate bar in the world. Maybe it's not recent, maybe it was sometime in the last 20 years. That's still recent if you're an old person. It doesn't look that appealing to be honest, it's just dull. More or less the same font that people use for lolcats. This does not call out to me on a shelf. Now I acknowledge that if I'd grown up with Hershey's, that may be different. This may then call out to me uh, on a, you know, if I saw it on a shop you know, shop candy display, I might see this and go, ah, it's a thing I had when I was six or whatever, then it might appeal to me. But to someone who didn't grow up with this, this is <laughs> packaging. It's just lazy. So let's uh, peel it open. It smells not nice. So let's, uh... That doesn't taste chocolatey. It's like cheap Easter egg chocolate. Ah, 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 there it is. Okay, nasty waxy aftertaste. Nasty, bitter, rough. Um, just unpleasant to have in your mouth. If I had kids, I would get my kid a bar of Hershey's so that they knew just how disappointed I was in them as a parent. It is cheap and nasty. It is the cheapest, nastiest chocolate. There's there's a certain enjoyment in nasty chocolate. There's a certain enjoyment in walking into a crappy store and spending money on uh, a bar of chocolate that you know isn't going to be very good, but also doesn't cost that much and there's not a lot of it. This is on the shelf alongside Twix and Snickers and Mars bars and shit. Um, and it's a full price, mainstream, household name chocolate bar. And it, it just doesn't taste good. It's cheap in an unpleasant way. And then the aftertaste is so, and it's, it feels like it's congealed in my throat. So that's Hershey. Um, if I had to score it out of 10, I wouldn't. I don't know how Americans do it. I don't know how Americans can willingly take this chocolate. How you, 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 American, you're watching this, putting this in your face. Why, why do you do it? What's, why is this? Why is this? Leave a comment below, explain to me why you like Hershey. If you don't like Hershey, leave a comment anyway in agreement with me because I like it when people agree with me because it it makes me feel more important as a person. 
that's basically it. I'm going to go away. Next week, I'm going to review another candy bar. If you have an idea for what you'd like me to review, leave it in the comment section below, I guess. I'm going to go away now uh, because I'm bored of this charade. Goodbye.